as Trump lands in D.C. after Asia trip, Americans spot something remarkable about his return. President Donald Trump just wrapped up his nearly two-week trip abroad, where he visited five nations across Asia. Upon landing back in D.C., Americans instantly noticed something rather remarkable about Trump's return. Saying President Donald Trump's trip abroad was a success would be a complete understatement. In less than two weeks overseas he built relationships, nailed down deals, and represented the United States better than Obama ever did. Not only was Trump's trip longer than any trip Obama ever took, but he was far more suited to represent our country, and the people of Asia made that abundantly clear with the respect they showed him while he was there. While in Asia, Trump visited Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam, and the Philippines, and every step along the way was celebratory. President Trump set out with the objective of uniting allies like the Japanese, and courting the Red Chinese, to get behind the administration's hardline stance on North Korea, according to BizPak Review. Every nation was more than thrilled to have President Trump in their country. The Chinese even rolled out the red carpet, literally, showing the admiration they have for our great leader. However, what is most surprising is the credit he is receiving since returning home. Shockingly, critics like CNN have called his trip a success making some wonder if hell has officially frozen over. Although, they did have to do it in a passive-aggressive statement since it seemingly pains them to admit that Trump did something right. Still, it is rather stunning that they let even one positive word about Trump come out of their mouths, passive-aggressively or otherwise. President Donald Trump flies home Tuesday after an Asia trip that went off without major incident and generally met critics' low expectations. CNN reported. If the primary purpose of Trump's visits to Japan, South Korea, China, Vietnam and the Philippines was to shore up relations with those countries and their leaders, the trip can be judged a success, even though actual policy wins were in scant supply. It's not exactly heaping praise, but they did use the word success and Trump in the same sentence. Not only is Trump receiving a remarkable amount of positive attention, albeit, in the form of backhanded compliments from his opposition in the liberal mainstream media, he is also getting a lot of attention from his supporters on social media, who are also calling his trip a success as well as welcoming him home. This is definitely not the return that the liberal left anticipated as thousands took to Twitter to share their support of our president. President Trump proved he takes his position as commander-in-chief seriously as his trip not only consisted of passing up fancy lunches to eat with the military but also making a stern statement to North Korea, yet again reminding them that we are not a country to be messed with. In addition, hundreds of billions of dollars, a quarter trillion to be exact, worth of U.S. business deals have followed Trump's trip, and he ensured positive partnerships with other world leaders. It is refreshing to see Trump have such a positive influence on our country's position on the world stage after having eight years of embarrassment. Very few countries ever took the U.S. seriously under the Obama administration, so to see other nations respect us once again is a remarkable feeling for any proud American. American.